That was Octopus by Sid Barrett off his 1970 debut album, The Mad Cap Laughs. Sid started recording that album uh, after he had left Pink Floyd. He was one of the founding members of Pink Floyd, and it took him a while to get that album out. There's a, a tumultuous history with the recording of that album, basically. So uh, the recording of that album pretty much spans the, the Beatles songs that we have going today. And that's why we're listening to it. But also we have a Beatles song from 1970 in competition today. Hi, my name is Bean and you're watching Battle of the Band. We're on day 141 of the Beatles tournament. If you're new here, you're not sure what the Beatles tournament is, I'll let you know what it is. We took every single Beatles song, we threw them into a single elimination style tournament, and now they're battling head to head until we have one Beatles song remaining in the end that we'll call the very best Beatles song. As we're learning in the Butthole Surfers Tournament, the tournament bracket is very cruel, and you never know what's going to happen. Your favorites get killed pretty quick. <laughs> Today we have Get Back from their 1970 album, Let It Be. Uh, that album also was almost called Get Back. I love this song. It's one of my favorite Beatles songs, so I'd imagine it's going to go pretty far in the tournament, but we'll see today. In the first round, that went up against Here, There, and Everywhere which is another song I enjoy, but not nearly as much as Get Back. That'll be going up against the George Harrison penned It's All Too Much, which is off of their 1969 soundtrack to Yellow Submarine. Uh, this tournament was the first time I'd heard this song, and I really enjoyed it. It's a bit long, but it's really cool. Uh, that defeated Another Girl in round one. So we've both heard both of these before already, and it's not going to be any different than last time. The uh, songs will be played reversed with a bit of distortion so that I can avoid a copyright block. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and get into it since we have some kind of long songs today. Here's Get Back. Ah, 
Yeah, that's how it keeps. That's how it works. Crazy, they had an audition that late in their career. I love that song. The guitars are great, but uh, the standout portion to me is fucking Billy Preston on the electric piano solo in the middle of that song. So good. Um, I was just really like the the groove on that song too. Like Paul McCartney definitely wrote that with. Uh, I mean, he just started, like, jamming on the guitar, basically, and that song just came right out. It's crazy, seeing it, like, in that uh, documentary. What's that documentary called? <laughs> I think it's called Get Back. The one on the Disney Plus channel. Y'all know. Anyway, let's go ahead and see how It's All Too Much stands up.
That is a really excellent piece of psychedelia. Um, I think that might be George Harrison's most underrated song. That is super good. I love the trumpet. Apparently there's only one trumpet in that whole thing. And then there's a bass clarinet. It sounds like there's so much more going on. Um, it's just like this big, huge wall of sound, basically. And it just, uh, like, reading it, I mean, it's about, uh, it's about love, but also... This dude's on acid. Or psychedelics in general. Like, this is the type of stuff, uh, I feel like when, uh, well, I haven't done mushrooms in a long time, but when I would do mushrooms, um, you would just have this overwhelm overwhelming sense of, like, warmth and acceptance. The come down, anyway. Uh, this was a good trip. Definitely a good trip. Is it better than Get Back, though? It's definitely a lot more complicated than Get Back. It's a more challenging listen in general than Get Back is. Man. But Get Back has that groove. Like, anyone could get into Get Back. You gotta be into psychedelic music to get into uh, It's All Too Much. Which, it can be too much for some people. Like, I don't know what all this noise is. <laughs> Like that's uh that's like one step away from like shoegaze almost just like the just loud you can't even like everything's washed out. Um, it's all too much is really good, and I really really enjoy it. I think though in this tournament though I I can't see get back going down in round two. But major props to uh, It's All Too Much, because that song is incredible. Way to go, George. You uh, you weren't given enough love for that one, definitely. I'm going to give it to Get Back. Uh, it's just the one that's more it's super earworm quality. I've always really loved the jam in it. Uh, the electric piano by Billy Preston is really, really good. Um, and it's it's just a more ho like cohesive rock song, which I really enjoy, too. Uh, but it's all too much. It's really, really, really good. Like, I'm kind of sad I won't be hearing it next round, but, you know, that's the way the tournament goes. Eleanor Rigby's already gone. Remember that. Remember, I killed Eleanor Rigby. We've got social media if you want to talk about it. We've got Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. You can hit me up on all three of those if you'd like to. We also have a TikTok if you like these videos, but you wish they were shorter. It's a really good way to do that. The description contains a link to the songs played normally, as well as, uh, dis or, uh, as well as a link to the tournament bracket so you can see how far along in round two we are. We've got Cash App and Venmo. If you want to throw us a little bit of money, feel free to do that. The handle is right down below me here. Like this video if you liked the video, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We've got a lot more music coming down the pipe. We have, uh, we have the Unicorns coming up really soon. Butthole Surfers competition is over in two days after today. Share the video with your friends and family members. Let them know about this uh, music tournament that's going on. Um, if you know anyone who's into the unicorns, let them know. The Beatles, let them know. Butthole Surfers, let them know there's an entire tournament to look at for that one. They don't even have, they don't even have to wait around for the end result. Comment down below with which of these two songs you would have chosen if you were in the hot seat today. And that's all the Beatles and Butthole Surfers I've got for today. That's all music tournament stuff I've got for today. So I'll tell you what. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great night and fantastic afternoon and a wonderful morning. Uh, if you're bored, click some of my other videos. Those always need looks, too. Give them a look-see. Today we have Get Back, which is from their 1970 album. Uh, let it be.